and how are we all doing today? You're welcome to today's tutorial, and I still remain your show making it easy to tell. Oh, the role Mojibola. And today, I'm going to be showing you how I am going to be lasting this beautiful women's life. Now, I need you to know that all we do on this channel is make sure we're making easy and simple for you. If you did not see this video, it means you are not part of of our weekend shoe making class is an exclusive class where we actually go into details of whatever i publish right here so sit back and i'm gonna be right away. all right for the okay so let's go ahead and then arrange this we're gonna be having this this way and then it's supposed to be like this you can make your own of course the other way around i'm considering making my own square and not diagonal but let me show you what the diagonal looks like So for our lasting process, now I'm going to be showing us how we can actually use our fingers to position. You can also place your foot on top of this. I think I have already, um, there's a video on how you can actually use your foot to position. So if you would love to watch that, please let me know and I would, you know, share the link with you. So this is what we have right here. This is what the design looks like. So I'm going to be placing this. Now, one important thing you should know is by the time the person is wearing it, it must cover this smallest toe. Don't last your footwear in such a way that when the person is wearing it, the footwear will be like this. And then their toe, the smallest toe will be outside. Don't. Or else it will not be comfortable so one way or the other this particular design will be a bit low I mean the position will be a bit low and it's because we want to ensure that it covers the lowest and the, the smallest to right down here that's the reason it will be going down a bit you understand so like I said you can use your feet to be sure just ensure you you measure about from here to here measure about five centimeter and make sure that your leg does not exceed that five centimeter just make sure you put maybe something like a pen here and insert your leg so that at least it will be there so you can go ahead and then you know last the footwear if you are going to be using your leg if you are going to be using shoe last, you can go ahead and then position it this particular way. Now, because this particular width is not, you know, the width is about 2.5 centimeter. That's the reason why we are going to be going this low for the positioning. We are going to be using somewhere around here, of course, this side. And I'm also going to be using this side of my finger. So I'm sure you can see the two sides. I'm using this and this. And this is as a result of the width of this particular strap this does not apply, apply to every design please it does not apply to every design this is just because of the of the width of this particular strap that's why we went this much if not of course we are supposed to start around here and also use in between right here you understand so i need you to make sure that you follow the process, you can put your feet, like I said, use your feet and try first before you go ahead and then position it. So like I said, if you are using your foot, I just want to quickly show us. Now, if you look at this, this is where five centimeter is. So I'm going to just get an object to see where it stopped. It stopped around here. So it means whichever way, no matter how you want to position your feet, it must not exceed this point. It must not exceed. So this is where the leg of whoever you are creating for will be. So go ahead and um, make sure that this strap covers this one. It's a must. It is a must. So 
and make sure that this your this your diagonal you know shape like this one here is at the center of your foot so let's go right into it so it means i'm going to use this side i'm going to make sure it covers this way then i'm going to come to this side and use this one like this so this is going to go back this way and then this is going to be right here and then that's just basically what i need no i know somebody's wondering so now that i'm putting my leg how will i remove it okay so your first assignment is to first of all fix the, the this front part so you can um, stylishly remove your feet because that's what i'm going to say stylishly remove it and then use your pen to mark this side and also mark the other side too so with that you can first of all position this part you understand where the shoe uh, where the use your leg again wear it then position the remaining one if you are using a shoe last as long as you have positioned the first part of course you can use your shoe last to now finally last it so you can see what it um, looks like of course after lasting it you can see what i have all right here so i think the next thing is to consider what you are going to be placing at the back so i'm going to be using a plain nora so take your time to cut the shape that will perfectly fit the back that's very important and then our heel is finally going to be attached to it you can see what we have so our shoe is outrightly ready of course the socks lining to be here and our shoe is ready now that you have positioned this one place this right on top of it to place to position the next one so that all of them will be at the same spot so take your time to just mark that way you can just mark now let me show you something just mark this one you may not have to mark the second one just mark the beginning where each of the straps starts make sure you align it properly so each of the marks are there you that's what i'm going to follow to position the second one and this one too is here this is here this is here and here here and here so i'm just going to follow those sides to actually position the second one as well so now we are going to be using our transparent gum it's also called pu gum i heard that in some country it's called fire gum <laughs> so we call it chemical gum in nigeria but it's actually a polyurethane gum and basically you have to heat it for it to effectively bond now some people have asked me what is the what is this gum majorly meant for can i use it on leather now the gum is not meant for leather it's majorly meant for bonding sole to your upper and you want to do your final bottoming or cementing of your shoe that is the only time this particular adhesive or gum is being used so you can see what i have i've already apply on this one i bevel it reducing the thickness now if you don't reduce the thickness by the time you place this on top of it you'll find out that it doesn't lay perfectly well there'll be some opening in between and in between so if you are not going to be beveling it you can use your grinding stone you can use your beveler i find out that the beveler does not work very well with synthetic leather it's work perfectly well with your genuine leathers you understand so you might need to use your grinding machine alternate Alternatively, make sure that you create an opening here where this can be slot in. I know somebody is wondering, how do I create that? You can ask me in the comment section, how do I create an opening under my insole so that I can easily slot in my upper? Please ask properly so that I can be able to give you the right link to, you know, watch. So we are also going to apply on this. And ensure that when you are applying your contact, um, your 
your chemical gum or whatever gum you're applying on its surface don't apply you and let the brush go this way no if you let allow it to go this way you'll be you'll be seeing it by the side at the edge of your sole so what you do is apply outward like this like when you want to go to the side apply it outward did you see me applying it outward so that's how you should apply don't come to this side and apply like this or else you find out that some of them will go to the side and make sure you don't have too much that you're actually pulling to those side so that you don't have it all around the side i don't like when i apply go or when you finish your go you understand your product and you have to sit down to use some hours to clean your door all the adhesive you have right all around it you can see the way i'm trying to move my hand to the edge so that is the way you should also do even if you are using another kind of um, gum you understand whatever kind of adhesive you are using make sure you use it that way with that you will not be seeing it at the edge so we are going to allow it to die carry it to the heater and um, actually heat it so you can create a heat box for yourself where you have some bulb you understand right in it on it for some time and place them inside and after some few minutes you understand you can just bring it out all you need is just to for it to be hot you just to activate the bonding capacity and also you can use your cooker or your burner at home just allow it to be hot now it's not compulsory that you have to heat the two surfaces you can just heat a particular surface and place on the other one and if you choose to heat the two surfaces it's also perfectly okay all right now i have already bottomed it you can see what it looks like so i'm going to go ahead and then place my top heel right here I've already taught on how to actually create a top heel. I mean how to wrap a top heel like this. So feel free to let me know in the comment section if you love to see how. So with this now, I'm going to try to hold this down. You can actually try to hold it down probably with a glue. Just to hold that part down for you to be able to make sure you centralize it just for you to hold that side down so i want to hold it down like that then i'm going to use my screw on it i'm going to use my drilling machine i think i'm going to be putting like four so you can see it is already holding one part i'm going to pick another one now if you don't have this please note that you can i think that's too long for what i need please note that you can use them um, a nail so you can use nail so you can see the way it looks like i'm still going to put one one on this side of course after that i'm going to be inserting my socks lining and my cushion this is my this is the eva foam or you know marco it's about two millimeter i'm going to be inserting it right here and then this particular socks lining this is what we call socks lining now so many people have asked me about socks lining and then um, i need you to know that for me just use something that is suitable you know or perfectly fit the color you need to me it's not like there's one special leather that should be used for it if you ask me i don't think so just use the color that complements what you want to actually do here uh -huh. so i think this is for this leg so it's supposed to be here this way if you want to stitch you can first of all stitch all around like this before you place it so make sure you screw down or you nail down before you place this this is also going to be covering this place and also cushioning that midpoint you understand before you finally place this particular one all right you can see what this finally look like and um, isn't this lovely and beautiful and it's very stable now if you want to know how i actually you know put together the insole for this particular you know the, the heel is about um 
2.5 centimeter this particular is about one inch heel if you want to know how i actually you know create the inner sole with the shank you can let me know and then we'll see how we can go about that or i can actually create a video on that for you you can see that i changed my own to square it's not looking like is he a kite or what or what are we going to call that thing that looks like a diagonal style initially so this is what i finally have thank you for joining me today and I still remain your shoe making it easy to do. I'm going to see you next time. Bye.